YouTube. This is a do-it-yourself video how to make uh, use one this kind of small battery chargers to charge your system uh, front battery and back battery even if, if you have a battery isolator between. So I have a battery isolator that when I start the engine it cuts off my back batteries and if I play music on, on the parking lot or something uh, without car on I can play for a number of hours and then I when the voltage drops down I can just turn turn key and uh, start the engine so and of course when you have long cable cable uh, between front and back batteries the resist uh, the the front batteries load the back batteries or back batteries load the front batteries if you have a mix matched AGM and water uh, lead acid batteries so uh, to keep things short I'm going into this build uh, I have this Benton BX1 Pro Pro means that it has the feature when this cuts out from the wall wall socket it remembers what stage it was in so when I when it gets uh, back the wall socket one 110 or 220 volts it goes back to charge mode and uh, I've used this this snowflake icon here so it charges 4.7 amperage it's not much but it's meant to keep the voltage high so the batteries does not uh, deflate themselves so here's my system how I made it I have made some some adjustments where's my pen I'm going to show you uh, you have 220 voltage so that's normal wall socket and you have plug here in front that you plug it into uh, then the cable goes back inside the car here you have one socket here and another socket here this is for the 12 voltage benton bx1 pro and this is for the heater inside the car here's my back batteries here's my front battery so uh, when i plug the cord in it will automatically detect the front battery from this side of the relay actually it's back battery uh, it will automatically de detect that there is a battery because this is here connected to here so it turns on and starts charging but i have diode here that only allows this side uh, uh, amperage and voltage go to this side so first of all it checks that battery is connected then it outputs amperage so it charges front and back batteries here's a relay that works with acc so when i turn key on it connects automatically front and back batteries i have 50 gauge um sorry zero gauge wire here and it's 200 amps i think maybe it was 100 amp no anyways so why diode here uh if you do not have diode here when you plug the cord out it automatically connects the batteries through this wire so when i have this diode here it uh, it only allows voltage to go through in one direction so i've actually this is it's not this way it's oh where's my pen it's it's damn it uh, so it only allows the front batteries to charge the back batteries while the 12 volt charger is off. Uh, that's that's why when I have lead acid battery here, it has lower uh, floating voltage than the back batteries. So when I stop the engine, uh, this cuts out and it short amount of time due to the 0 0.0 voltage uh, I don't know what is in, in English but anyhow uh, it it gives some voltage back to the batteries and then it cuts out because it does not give if the voltage is higher here here than here it does not try to charge and the voltage doesn't does not go in this direction because of the diode so the back batteries won't charge the front batteries so that's okay and uh, 
Oh, let's see it in real life. Okay, I have my wall socket here and this is custom made adapter. So I have here a... Actually this is waterproof, but it does not have to be waterproof, just... Uh, IP66 is okay. This is IP68. And it has uh, three pis what are those? Three three connectors so you can connect AC and ground also. So I connect this here like so. And it goes through here behind this this plastic and goes here around here and goes here and there's a hole that it goes into the passenger seats. It comes out here and I have connected this bulky uh, AC socket here where, where the is connected to the charger. And charger is automatically now charging because it's, it's plugged in. Also I have another cable coming here and it goes under, under the seat so I have voltage for my heater also. So that's connected to the AC and that's connected to the AC. Now here I have this relay. Actually it, it was 100 amperage. So uh, uh, the charger has two wires black and red. Uh, black is ground and I have grounded it to the engine. Engine is also extra grounded to the ground. So uh, batteries are also grounded to the gr uh, chassis of the car. So I, I get good ground here. And then I get two wires. One is going to the uh, front side batteries and another to the back back batteries. So here is uh, it's connected here only through wire and th uh, in here it's connected through the diode. So diode allows me to charge both batteries simultaneously uh, but when when it's not charging it does not leak too much to the other side. So I can actually keep them together because I have back I have AGM a, a battery technology and in front I have normal lead acid battery. So to keep things short, that's about it actually. Uh, if you buy in Finland, we have these DEFA connectors and uh, connectors that you can use, but they cost many hundred hundreds of euros so I, I, I found these these small solder connectors they are actually IP68 from Vekoy.com so you get this kind of plug and you solder your wires into and then you put some heat, heat shrink so they don't short out and that's about it like if you did like like if you dislike okay like if you dislike and dislike if you like whatever suits your suits your suits for you the best um thanks for watching see you on the next video bye bye